Well, thank you for coming in, Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Proverbs 24, verse 8, saying 24. He who plots evil will be called a schemer. A foolish scheme is sin, and a mocker is detestable to people. People who plot evil will be called a schemer. A foolish scheme is sin, and a mocker is detestable to people. In relationships, we sometimes run into people that don't understand how the health and vitality of oneness works within it. Unfortunately for many of us, as we get older, our life has diverse areas in which we need to spread ourselves. But when it comes to your intimate relationship, that has to have a very particular space in your life in which you can um, manage it and manifest it in a way in which it produces power for you to be able to prosper in the other areas of your life. Some people by nature, they don't understand how the sinful nature works, but the sinful nature will be scheming against them in a way in which will cause them to sabotage their relationship. The sinful nature is something that not everyone's aware of. Underneath the surface, it's producing evil thoughts and influences. It's tending us towards sexual immorality. It's tending us towards theft. That could be emotional theft murder that could be emotional murder it wants to disrupt people's marriages it's greedy for whatever it can gain and the sinful nature always looks for the least path of resistance for the path of least resistance it's always got some kind of wickedness going on underneath be it self-destructive alcohol medicines and the devil's lettuce and things that's going around these days. There's always an element of deceit, debauchery. I just, I'm going to look that up. Okay. Um... Debauchery, excessive indulgence in sex, alcohol, and drugs. Debauchery, 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 excessive use of sex, alcohol, and drugs. Envy, slander, arrogance, and foolishness. All these evils are within. We're up against all these evils from within that are plotting against us in a way and scheming against us. They're plotting and scheming against us to bring our relationship down, our intimate relationship down. People need to make time for themselves, granted, absolutely granted. <clears throat> but when things happen at the negligence of the relationship, a relationship that you've committed to, a relationship that you want to invest in, somebody that's important to you, it's not fair on that person to be subject to a scheming partner that's not even aware or doesn't want to take accountability or responsibility for this thing going on, this sort of stuff going on. A lot of women suffer at the hands of this, and more and more men are coming into a situation where they're confronted with this. <clears throat> These evil plots that work within the heart are called schemes, and our sinful nature will scheme against 
our mind and our values to try and undermine us into falling for temptations, its temptations, falling for its lust and evil ways, not considering the consequences that lie up ahead as a consequence of them. We seem to become null, null and void to that, numb to that. The mind becomes a slave to the sinful nature. The partner's trying to come to terms with what's going on and they're confronting the issues and the schemes just keep coming and the plots just keep ruining the relationship. Little things. Like, why didn't you return my text? And the reason might be was because they were possibly talking to somebody else intimately when people start to slip away from the value of their relationship communications first thing to go because their communication shifts in another direction towards somebody that they want to share it with and so then the evil plots and schemes and the way in which they're going to dodge their partner so that they can engage the new supply starts to come at the cost of the relationship. Why didn't you answer my text? When I saw you on face, you were on Facebook, you didn't answer my phone call. You had your phone in your hand. This is happening more and more. There's, there's less ways for these schemers to hide. These people devise evil in their hearts. They pre-plan what they're going to do to satisfy their latest trend, their shiny new toy. And they'll do it behind your back. They'll do it in a way in which they're stroking their lust and receiving all the dopamine and rewards that they get from the behaviours in which they're betraying you with. They're living a life of their cake and eat it too. They've become ensnared in the sensations and temptations of these evil thoughts. There's a there's a place in everyone that will fall prey to debauchery if we let it. But it comes down to values. For a lot of these destructive people, arrogance and foolishness overtakes them. They slander their relationship. They envy other people. When you start envying something that you think you should have but you haven't got, that's going to be a classic pas passageway to demeaning and undermining your relationship with the person that you're with. A foolish scheme is sin. And that's a foolish scheme that's running against your intimate partner. And this kind of person is detestable to people. When you engage in sexual intimacy, there's a lot of things that get switched on inside a person that weren't there pre previous to that. And this blend of the two people in the relationship of intimacy can lead to lust. It can lead to these things. Some people don't know how to manage themselves post-sexual activity. And what happens is, once these things unleash inside them, they start to plot. The sinful nature starts to use them to plot evil and scheme against their own relationship. And a lot of people call this narcissism, but it's more than that. It's the sinful nature at work. 
narcissism could be associated with these things and it is in many cases but I'm calling it for what it is and it's our sinful nature which is at work in us the blend of our intimacy in the relationship can work against us it can unleash our carnal nature and instead of putting these things that come out towards the relationship for good they lure the person away to look for other sources of supply the foolish scheme is sin it's sin because they're now taking the power of the intimacy and transforming it into something that it was never meant for and that's destruction of the relationship in which it was created in which it was given the blend of the two people in the relationship has now caused one or both to start the sinful nature to unleash the sinful nature inside them to plot evil to emotionally begin to search for this sensation in other people so those who plot evil will be called a schemer this is the scheme of the carnal nature the evil thoughts that it has cordialing around inside us but you can use the sinful nature to empower your relationship as long as you realize it's not something that you're trying to do to make the other person happy or stop them from being sad to get your acceptance and your no you can take these schemes into the intimacy and abolish them there this is one of the things that people don't realize about sexuality you can abolish sin in that place you don't have to plot evil and be called a schemer because you've undermined your own relationship you don't have to be foolish and scheme sin outside your relationship you don't have to end up a mocker and detestable you use your heart for your relationship and allow your intimacy to consume the things that are coming against it so that you can flourish and not be called a plotting schemer those who plot evil will be called a schemer and a foolish scheme is sin and a mocker is detestable to people I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me and bye for now.